made it out here on another beautiful day out on Green Bay. Looking for some fish on the side imaging right now. There's two of them right there. But we went away from the boats again. A lot of boats at the boat launch, as you saw that. A lot of them went that way, and I went this way. So hopefully we can find some fish, and I didn't zig when I should have zagged. But that's fishing. Well, we'll take a look around, drive around, see if we can find them, and hopefully put a few in the boat. All right. Did some driving around. Looking for fish on the drive. Back in the game, coach. They are not here like I was hoping they would be. There's a lot of boats here. It's too nice out. Need some wind. Spot number two. We didn't get out here till nine o'clock yesterday. So maybe he's got to wait a little bit. Last cast out here. And we're on the move again. fish way out there. Those are fish way out there. Fish on. There we go. Oh, that's a good walleye. That's a good walleye. That's a good walleye. Whoo. It's a big walleye. We're not ready for this. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another just fat one. It's probably a 26 incher. Big fat mama. There we go. Look at that. Hair jig in the mouth. Just a fat, sassy one right there. Fat girl. 26 incher on the hair jig. All right. Oh. Ooh. Bye. You know the deal. We're getting out here away from the boats, finding some fish to ourselves, put a nice one on the boat. With the old root beer hair jig, becoming a new favorite. Is this what we're looking for? Those look like fish. I sure hope so. We might be onto something here. Let's see if we can catch them. Those look like fish. And it looks like we got a little wind coming our way. Come on. I know you're out there. I'm coming right into that one. There we go. Fish on. We're coming up. Walleye. Not a big one. All right. Skinny one. There's a lot of them out there. There's that hair jig in the mouth. So I just marked all those fish. You saw them on the side imaging. I stopped, pulled up. Made two casts and we were on with a nice male walleye. That hair jig. So, you gotta drive around until you find them sometimes. You can't just sit there. We got that breeze coming now, so I think we're gonna start drifting. Everything's lining up. Everything's lining up. We're not by the other boats. We got this area to ourselves, and we're gonna put hurting on some fish here. Just slow lifts, slowly dragging it. Maybe not dragging it, but slowly lifting it. Just doing circles out here, looking for these fish. Ooh, we got something following it. Yup. Oh, that one hit it hard. Might be a pikeroni. Come on up here, I just want to see you. Oh, it is a walleye. Snagged him. <laughs> Must have hit my line. And then I hit him right in the gill. That is not a scorable fish. He's got the stinger hook right underneath the jaw. But still. 
I think I snagged him. He was creeping on my jig. Female, she's bleeding a little bit. We're gonna let her go. There you go. All right, she was following it. Gave her the business. Yeah. That was a terrible cast. There's a good group of fish. Oh yeah, dropping right into them. Scared them. Don't be scared. It's just a hair jig. That's why it's not good to drop it right on them. You usually want to drop it past them and bring it back to them. Because I just scared all those fish away. There's something going on up at 90 feet. Yep. <laughs> There was something going on out there. I'm just thirsty for some root beer. Way out there. Little walleye, hair jig, right in the top of the mouth. This is my smallest one of the year. Let them grow. Bye. Something out there at 90 feet again. See you out there. Yep. Ooh. Long casts might be better. Not a bad one. You can see him down there rolling around. Not a bad one. Pinned under the jaw. I need one of those light tomboli nets. Unbelievably light. Oh, I got him. I'm calling it. Uh, Tom's walleye net. Right under the lips. Oh, a little eater. 20 inches. See ya. Need to get back out deeper. They're on the screen. They're on the screen. Hey, if you subscribe, I'll catch more fish. <laughs> I'll lose more fish. Oh, there's definitely a fish out 90 feet that way. It's a tough spot to cast to. I have no idea where my jig went. Just hope I'm close. Oh yeah! Just tapped it. Just tapped it. This one's for you, Cody. You say you saw me. This fish is for you. Little walleye. Stinger hook only, and she's off. Look at that, easy peasy. That one's for Cody, little walleye. There we go. Some tomfoolery going on out there. 90 feet, it's a big mark. Come on and get some root beer. Oh, I did. I thought I felt a tap. Oh, there she goes. I didn't even see that fish that I just had on. Now I realize what I was casting at was not a fish. It hasn't moved. Just some shit in the water. And I got lucky and hooked a fish by it. Time to drive around. See you at the next spot. Maybe hat cam will bring me good luck. We'll find out. Oh, here comes that wind. That's what I was asking for. We went from zero to 100 real quick with that wind. Zero to 12, just like that. Just marked a bunch of fish again. As soon as I started driving, I got up on plane, started seeing all those fish. I cut her down and now look at the screen. Oof. There's a fish down there. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Hat cam brings me good luck. Just dropped it right on him. Right next to the boat. Come here. 
<laughs> Just instant, instant. Couple of twitches. There we go. Hair jig in the mouth. Stinger hook in the mouth. Sometimes you just gotta keep driving around until you find them. See ya. See ya. God, my fingers are getting really cut up. Wow. Root beer. That's doing all the damage. All right, stop talking, catch another fish. Stop talking, catch another fish. Oh, oh hoo -hoo. weak wrists, man, weak wrists. Look at his weak wrists. Yeah, but look at his weak wrists. Dropping in to say hello. Yep, hello. Hello, this is a longer fish. Come here. Let's get in the net. Oh, I got her. Woof. Sounds a little bigger. Look at that hair jig. In the mouth. Come on out. Another nice 25, 26 incher. A little bit bigger one going back this time. Oh, see ya. Woof. Oh, not paying attention. Hooking bigs. Hooking bigs. But I'm not paying attention. We got something figured out here, boys and girls. Not very big. Side of the face. Oh. But she counts. Ooh. Not ready. Oh, ride that wave. <laughs> God. It never gets old. I will never get tired of catching walleyes. Never. Never. I don't even care how big they are. It never gets old. Look at that hair jig. Right there. Stinger hook. Oof. Oof. There we go. Man, just putting a learn into them today. This is what I love doing. I love coming out on Green Bay and finding water to myself. There are no boats anywhere. Anywhere. There's no boats in sight. And I'm catching fish. All by myself. So when you come out here, this whole west shore is the same stuff all over the place. You just gotta find areas that are holding fish, drive around, Use that side imaging, use your 2D when you're driving 20 miles an hour, and you'll spot these fish on these sand flats. They stick out like a sore thumb. And you just gotta drive around until you find them. The water temperature means a little bit, but it's not the only factor. Right now I'm in 38 degree water. Yesterday we were in 34 and we were pounding them. So drive around, spend some time looking for these fish. And if they're not biting, move. If they're not biting, they're not gonna bite. Go away, go find some other fish. Because sometimes you're going to find the right ones and you're going to start pounding them. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This might be another decent one. Might be decent. Come here. <laughs> Get up here. <laughs> no boats. I can be as loud as I want. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy. Look at that hair jig. Top of the mouth. There we go. Hat cam and everything. 
another 26 inch fat female right there another fat sassy one going back to green bay oh see ya buddy just smacking them just smacking them oh no i lost my wind sock that's not good that's not good that's not good oh i hope it wasn't for too long shit just looking out for all you folks at home because you don't want to hear wind noise i don't want to hear wind noise i want clean crisp audio well let's go back up and do that again because that was a lot of fun back again i need a 30 incher i know they live out here i've caught one here before right in this general area actually last year it's actually 31 it's a big fish might have been my biggest fish of the year don't waste your time on fish that are behind the boat when you're going towards other fish. Like those ones right there. Oh yeah, bud. All right, how am I fishing? Long, slow lifts. Let it hit the bottom. Reel up the slack and do it again. Slow lift, hold your line tight and catch fish. Just like that. Just like that. Sometimes everything just works out. Sometimes it just works out. Give them the root beer. Give them the root beer. Come here, you. Whoop. Root beer. He's a fan. Slow lifts with a pause. See ya. Lost my stinger hook. Let's see if we can catch one without it first. Let's see if we can get one without the stinger hook. Drop them right behind them. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, I would have caught that one with a stinger. What about that one there? Yup. <laughs> that one didn't need a stinger. It's another nice one. No stinger needed. <sighs> Look at that. No stinger hook needed. Just another average 24 incher. See ya. Fingers are getting all cut up from walleyes. So I'm wearing a glove. I don't care. Hat cam's dead. Man, we are on the juice. He went down to the bottom. Yep. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That's what I get. I'm not Kevin Van Dam. Oh, look at them all. 90 feet. That's a school. Slow lift and a pause. That's how I'm working the bait. Slow lift, pause. Keep your line tight. That way you can feel everything. That might have been a bite. Oh, what time is it? 11.45. We're gonna go back up and do it again. Maybe we'll try a rip and wrap this time. Cause they're out here eating. I'd like to catch one on a rip and wrap. We'll do, ooh, we'll do that. Let's switch things up here. Rip and wrap on the old Cade rod. Oh, I hit him. <laughs> oh, I felt my lure bop him. Just bopped him. That's what I call accuracy. Just bop them. Fish on. The ripping wrap. There you go. 
we'll try something different for a little while. Custom rip and wrap from North Shore, of course. Toxic shad. Oh yeah. Ripping wrap. There you go. Just a little guy. Watch. All right. We got one on the rip and wrap. That's enough. I did something different. Back to what's fun. Hey, click that subscribe button. It'll help me catch more fish. Did you click it? 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 No. Man. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. There we go. Another average 23 inch here. There we go. Go back up. Do it again. I'm nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. What is that? Uh, it's big something. Oh, he's going down. Come on. Come on. Yes. That looked like, oh, no. That was a big fish. Mother. That was a big one. He just lazily went right down and sucked it up. <laughs> those are the big walleyes, those big lone fish. Man, that was just textbook. And I screwed it up. It's a good mark there. <laughs> See if he wants a hair jig. Does he want some root beer? <laughs> root beer! Just dropping it on him. Just smacking him today. Just smacking him. There's nobody out here. I love it. I love it. God, it's so much fun. Whee! Just nonstop. This root beer, it's just working. It's working. I don't know, maybe purple and black would be working today too, but I'm not switching it up. Just pulled up, dropped it on a fish, caught a fish. Dylan, Dylan, long cast, long cast, slow lift, slow lift, yes sir. Slow lift, good average size out here. Just fat, healthy ones. Just fat, healthy ones. Oh, that one's fat. In case you forgot, still out here getting fatties. You wanna see how easy live scope is? You see that fish, cast to it, and you catch that fish. It's just that simple. I'll show you. See? It's just that simple, folks. It's just that simple. Live scope will help you snag all the fish you want, because that's what this is. I snagged something. See? Right in the belly. Like a true sportsman. Got to get rid of this damn live scope. It's kicking warts off into my boat. Just disgusting. <laughs> oh, these fucking tumors. Get out of here. Let's do it again. All right. Who's thirsty for some root beer? Root beer. Is it root beer or root beer? I don't know. Here comes that wind again. Might be a bumpy ride home. That 
12 miles to go. There you are. Here, my last one of the day, right there. This is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the one. All right. All right. All right. All right. Get it in the net, and we go home. Come here. That's a lot of fish today. There we go. We can't end on a little one like that. It's gotta be something a little bigger. I keep telling myself I'm gonna leave. And then I don't. Oh, he's chasing it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he was on it. Oh boy. We found the mother load. We found the juice, and now we're gonna catch a fish. Yep. Just smacked it. Just smacked it. It's not a bad one. Not a bad one. Oh. It's 25, 26. No hesitation on this one. Just ate it. A fat 23, 24 incher actually. See you. All right, for real. The last drift this time. I promise, I promise. Put the hat cap on for the last drift. Yep. Tap, tap, tap. He bit it. He bit it. Still out here stroking him. Just stroking him. Hair jig. Stinger hook. Bottom of the mouth. Still getting him on the root beer. Right there. See ya. We got a good breeze now. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Oh yeah, wind. Oh yeah. Holy cow. I think we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. in the garage all done for the day had a great time out there caught a lot of fish um, too many fish to show in the video but there was plenty of them there for everybody to watch i hope you learned something i hope you picked up something there i tried to talk a little bit about how i was doing things where i was going why i was doing things so hopefully that helps some of you guys out um, but really when you go out there just move around look for these fish they're not too hard to find this time of year use your side imaging use your 2d trust your electronics and eventually you'll find those fish and a lot of times, it's good to get away from the boats. 
So thank you for watching. If you made it this far, you're a legend. And remember, 